we discussed CDF in the context of a single random variable, and this concept can easily be extended to two or more random variables. So just as a reminder, the CDF for a single random variable x is usually written with a capital F, and then here's our random variable, and then this is the point we're going to evaluate it at. So we integrate over our PDF from negative infinity up to the point we're evaluating at. So this tells us the probability that x is less than or equal to c. All right, so we can come up with the same thing if we have two random variables, x and y. So what we're going to do now is have our capital letter F, and then we'll have x and y in the subscript. And now we're going to need to have a point that we're going to evaluate up to for x. So this is going to be u. And then the point that we evaluate up to for y. So we'll call this one v. So in other words, this is saying the probability that x is less than or equal to u and y is less than or equal to v. And this is going to be equal to, well, we're going to integrate over our joint PDF. And y is going to go from negative infinity up to v. And x needs to go up to u, so it goes from negative infinity up to u. So here I've integrated with respect to y first and then x, but you could easily do it the other way around. So with respect to x and then y, just make sure that you swap the bounds of your integrals. 